Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Elizabeth. I have a project share for you and this is a swap that I'm doing or that I'm actually participating with um, through Tamika's channel. She scrapped the world here on YouTube. She is hosting a loaded mini envelope swap, group swap. So we are to create um, two um, mini loaded envelopes and we would receive two different ones back. Now, um, I don't know who I'm going to receive. Um, I'm not in no designated um, group, but um, it'll be fun to see uh, who I get. So what we were supposed to do is do a four by six pocket or envelope and inside were to include two embellishments with decorations, a pack of coordinating sequence mix, um, a goodie could be from our stash or store bought, um, a three by three shaped note card with envelope. We were also to include um, a free choice. It could be um, anything handmade um, that we want to make for our partners. And um, also include a shaped tab with a dangle. And also had to include to and from. So I decided to use the paper stack from Maggie Holmes Garden Party since I already had it on my area, uh, crafting area and uh, from another project that I did. So I decided to use that as well, and I love how it came out. So here are, is the way it's packaged. Um, it's very fun and everything, and um, I did some back toppers. These are back toppers that I had created in my silhouette. And then I also purchased a digital kit last minute, because since we have to make all of them the same, so I had to, um, I didn't have enough to make the, the a 12 by 12 sheet of paper would have only uh, given me um, two of them and I wanted to make three. So I wanted to make one for, for um, Tamika as well as a thank you for hosting um, this swap. And it's a lot of work, guys. It's a lot of work to um, gather together and to coordinate swaps and you need to mail it out. And, you know, it's a lot of work. So I thought it would be a, um, a good thing, you know, appreciation to uh, make one for Tamika as well. So um, I did purchase the digital kit at the last minute. I'm so glad that I purchased it. I also used items for my stash. Um, this is trimmed from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is a digital kit that I went ahead and resized in my silhouette program. This star is now something that I got from Ally Express. This is a black and white ribbon. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. And then this rosette was actually from Hobby Lobby. And um, so, yeah, and it is, it's not half blue. This is organza bag. What I did was I used uh, glue dots um, and I applied it here so you're able to uh, pull it out. So you're able to pull it out and it won't damage and you could reuse this. Um, you can reuse everything here if you like. So um, let me go ahead and share with you. They're basically almost the same. Everything is the same except for the for the, um, the Synchro Mix. Um, I used these pink envelopes from, that I got from Amazon. So um, let me go ahead and share with you what I made. Okay. So um, let me just go ahead and show you what the free goodie is. Um, the free goodie is one of these little uh, wooden veneers from Dollar Tree. I saw this and I saw the rose and I thought Maggie Holmes right away. So I, um, that's what everyone is receiving. It is so cute and you could use, you could paint these, you could use um, your Nouveau drops on them, you could use um, also how you call it oh my goodness i forgot the terminology <laughs> um oh embossing embossing powder you could use embossing powder whatever you I mean you could do so much with that so already so here is my my project i love how it came out it is so cute so um let me go ahead and just share um what's in front so here, this rosette is from, from Hobby Lobby. This rosette, it comes in a six pack and there's uh, three of these. There's three of them of the green one and then three of them of the coral color. And so what I did is um, they're a little bit smaller than what's shown here. What I did was I removed the little circle and the, um, the little glue uh, the foam tape that was in the back because I wanted to make it a little bit bigger to fit um, this um, print that I created. So this is two separate 
if, uh, ephemera or different images and I combined it together in my silhouette machine and then I cut the bunny out. I cut this out in my machine as well and um, I just popped up the bunny and um, here is a little heart which is the same trim as this right here and I just cut out a little piece and I added it right there and then um, here is the um, rose so this ephemera I also print it and I cut it out of my machine using my machine and then here um, I added this ribbon it's a bow a gold foil bow um, from Hobby Lobby and this is pink trim from Michaels like from years ago from their uh, dollar spot so you just, it came in a roll and what I did is um, I cut it in half so I was able to get six yards of it so here is um, my shaped tag and I used a KS Crafts um, butterfly shaker shaker die and so that's what I did and it's so cute. I use gold foil uh, for the body, gold foil paper, and then I use these little flowers from from the from Paper Studio Hobby Lobby. And then I use my cute, fun little um, yarn, the the fuzzy yarn from Dollar Tree, as um, as a handle, you know, as a you know to attach it to the bag or whatever to the gift. And then um, the the shape tag had to include a dangle, so this is my dangle. Here's a rose, uh, a flower bead, and then this is a tassel trim from tassel charm from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I put the two from because I used uh, gold paper. I just uh, used uh, white scrapbook paper, and I and I wrote out two from because I I wrote it by hand because I couldn't find my stamp. I don't know what I do with this, so I wrote two from, and then the the recipient can you write out the name here. Um, and I used a um, eyelet to create, to punch a hole to attach my uh, charm. So here is the shaped tag. Here is the bag of sequins. Now I purchased these little baggies from Amazon and I tried to cut out a swan image on the bag. But when I put it through the die with the, with the bag through the machine, it flattened out the seal so it wouldn't close anymore. So I had to just add stickers. So I use stickers from the collection and I added it there. But I have a, a sequence mix, coordinating sequence mix inside. And what you and that, that's what I use to make um, these right here. It has some it has some black in it, like little uh, black. And all the colors that um, this collection has is what I included. And then here is just uh, this is something a little extra that I had cut out. I was thinking about putting it here but at the last minute I change my mind so I'm just thinking that's something a little extra that I'm including and then here is my card um it is a shape card actually my card my envelope it came out a little bit bigger than three by three um and I used a my silhouette to create the card and then I hand formed the um, mat the envelope I was having such a hard time creating the envelope. I wanted to create gussets uh, using my envelope punch board, but I can't figure it out. <laughs> so um, here's my card. I used the teapot, and then um, I printed the little cup, and I popped up. It's popped up, and then I put hello. This is from the collection, flowers from Hobby Lobby. The card opens up like this. And um, I tried to attach it from here, but if too much opening and closing, it would have ripped. So I glued this part, and I just uh, went ahead and um, created a score line right here to make it easier to open. And then my card, I mean my envelope, it's a 110 pounds um, card stack. And I created my envelope. It's like this, but it has a gusset. So um, it has a quarter inch gusset. And I added tape. So there's tape here, double-sided tape here, and then there's double-sided tape right here as well. So when you put it together, you just fold it and it goes like that. And then you just close it like that. And then your card will fit very well in there. So that's how I created my card, my uh, card and envelope. And then here is my, um, my uh, embellishments, my two embellishments. I created these little uh, flags and I only um, they came out really cute and I added dangles on them as well and I was inspired by Poochie 
So Puchi Tate girl, she had created something um like this. Exactly, mind. I just used one. She had actually did like two plaids and used a longer um the straw. I actually cut my straw uh shorter, and um so so yeah. And then also I was inspired uh seeing Tamika how she had uh had her embellishments on acetate so I went ahead and did mine as well and it's got it's got a little glue dot in the back but um I used a dye this is from in love arts um dye and um it's a it's a banner dye it's stitched banner so I used the smallest one um I cut it twice so here you can see the back and um just to to um because it's kind of a because of the straw, so I tried to flatten the straw with my with my pliers, but um, but still. And then also I just cover the back, and then here's a sticker of the of, from the collection, a puppy sticker. These are um, images that I printed, and I use my silhouette. I created a dangle right here, and then I put a little pom pom. And these are beads from my stash, so it came out really really cute. I love it. I love how this came out. And then here's another embellishment since we were supposed to do two, but this one's different. They're not exactly the same, but so um, I thought it would be different. So one is green and then the other one's pink. And um, so it says, this is a happy life. I added sequins as well. I ordered gold sequins on this one. And then since this has a gold puffy sticker, I use uh, black stars instead. And then here's a rose um, charm and uh, here was a bow. So these are my two embellishments that I created and then um, here is my extra so my extra is a charm that um, I created let me go ahead and take this out it's um I don't have <laughs> bags um, that goes with like you know so I have to do some surgery on these uh, bags just to make it um, you know so everything will look nice so I did some surgery on the bags but um here is my charm um, I made a little charm as my extra and I use beads from my stash these I got from these I got from Aliexpress I did I got the birdie beads from Aliexpress I think these beads um, are from Hobby Lobby and then this is from the um it is from oh what's that store I forgot the name of it it's from online um I yeah, I forgot the name of it, but I, there's a lot of people that ha is um, hauling from them. So, um, is it BB Crafts? I think it's BB Crafts. So, it's a box that I, I got. So, yeah, so this is my, my um, extra. And then here is my, um, I did a shaker envelope. So, it's supposed to be 4 by 6 The, the width is 4 but this came out a little bit shorter for the fact that after I cut my paper and formed it four by six, at the last minute I decided to score. So I scored it right here, so I made it a little bit shorter. And then I created another pocket right here. So you see that? So I'm able to fit um, uh, everything that you see here. And I did make a shaker. I did not do any sewing. I did the lazy way of creating shakers by, um, I just used my hot glue gun. So. And I just glued it all, it doesn't go all the way as you can see, because I wanted most of the shaker bits to be seen right here. But yeah, this is how I created my packets, and this is my, what I created for the swap. I hope the ladies who received this um, love it. Um, I had so much fun creating. It's been a while that I, since I've created, I'm um, like this. <laughs> I was actually crafting all week long, every single day. I it's been a while since I've crafted like that. So, so yeah, but I had fun. It was a good thing to do. It's been a while since I participated in, in, in Tamika's swap, group swaps. So I was happy to do this and it seemed fun. So, all right, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.